Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. Do not blame your African brothers and sisters from Nigeria and Zimbabwe for your hardships and for your economic woes and problems your country is facing. Hello, my name is Renata Murema and I am your host right here on the African Diaspora News Channel reporting live from Johannesburg, South Africa. A white male says we must refrain from blaming our fellow African brothers and sisters for our hardships and economic woes and the problems facing South Africa. He further says the blame should be put on his people who colonized our land, stole our resources, enslaved us into a system of apartheid and continue to patronize us till this very day. Brothers and sisters in South Africa, I want to urge you to stop blaming your brothers and sisters in Nigeria and from Zimbabwe for your hardships and for your economic woes and the problems facing your country. It is not the fault of your fellow African brothers. The problem that you encounter is caused by people who look like me. People who have this fair white skin. They are the cause of your problems as they always have been. For it was white people who colonialized your land it was white people who stole your resources and it was your white people who enslaved you into a system of apartheid. So do not blame your brothers and sisters, but look to apportion the blame where it really lies. Now this is not to demonize all white South Africans. And in my times in traveling in your country, I have recognized that things have changed and that the younger generations of people of European origin are nowhere near as bigoted as their fathers and their grandfathers. Things are changing and people do have more progressive attitudes. However, it is those people living on their farms who stole your land who are the problem and not your Nigerian and Zimbabwean brothers and sisters. To a certain extent, he is right about his people taking the blame for our problems and economic woes plaguing the country. As a matter of fact, it takes courage to admit when you are wrong. Sadly, not everybody in his race shares his view. But we can't let illegal foreigners with no intention in contributing to our economy slide. Oh no, we cannot. Most foreigners have ill intentions towards South Africans. Let's check out this video. Guys, fellow Zimbabweans, fellow Malawians, fellow Zambians, fellow Maputo, fellow Ghanaians and Nigerians, Ethiopians, Somalians, let's be united. We came here to hustle. Don't be scared of these South Africans that try to scare us. We are here to hustle. Go and ask it by the border, why are they letting us come in here? Are we flying? Are we, are we talking? We come through the border and they are letting us, they, they want us our labor. You want to be paid 150 a day. You are very stupid. You do, what, what do you have in your house? Don't try me. If you start me, I'll swear on you like nobody's business. Me, I'm here. I won't do anything. Somalians, big up. Chinese, big up. Leave this South Africa. They like to push a drinking every day. The many can't even drive the river to Congo. Big up, Moya. Big up, Dara. Can I go to Gumira the Gumila Bed Bridge? Put sack! South African! Just done this. 54 number, I am. Done this. Uh, fuck your phone. Nah. I'm going to post this all over this Signet Mall. Is that the reason why they came to South Africa? To steal our jobs? Cause chaos? Sell illegal substances? And I know everybody's thinking, why should we look at one side of the coin? It takes two to tango. And you're absolutely right. To those South African authorities, the connects that left them in the country without proper documentation, they are to blame. Those South African citizens that hire the unqualified, undocumented foreigners because of their cheap labor, they are to blame. They set back our country more than the foreigners do, actually. Today, our economy is overloaded and overcrowded, and our government can provide for its citizens.
reasons because we are financially overstretched, providing for people who aren't even meant to be here. I do not mean to sound stuck up or, you know, but I get that when our political leaders were exiled during apartheid, they seek refuge from our neighboring countries like Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Botswana, Swaziland, and many more African countries. And those countries have been welcoming and wonderful to us and we'll forever be grateful. But our leaders came back home. They came back home to fix the state of our country. They did not cause chaos in your country. They didn't sell illegal substances in your country. They didn't offer cheap labor, taking the jobs of the citizens of that country, stripping away the job opportunities of qualified people, taking, our, um, taking away their ability to put bread on the table. And they certainly did not weasel their way into your country illegally. Home Affairs uh, Minister Aaron Mutualedi vowed that the days of crocodiles lingering in the country undocumented or with fraudulent documents are numbered as his department vows to work hand in hand with specialized investigative authorities. This comes days after um, a Zimbabwean man named Kuda Mpofu, who fraudulently attained permanent residency in South Africa. He was even appointed in the Northwest Development Corporation as Chief Financial Officer. In a statement the, the Minister of Home Affairs released, he says that it is quite bizarre how that happened. Every time these... Um, our, uh, our ministers release a statement whenever something crazy or bizarre happens in our country. They always, you know, are shocked. How did this happen? How did, how did this happen? How can we let this slide? I will tell you how this happened, minister. Your people at home affairs provide these foreigners with paperwork for a fee. They are the connect these foreigners use to stay here. The CIU needs to probe in the minister's department because there's a lot of corrupted moles that work at Department of Home Affairs. There are a lot of people that take bribes from these foreigners in the Department of Home Affairs. I think the CIU and the minister needs to look within their department. Also, how did this man get such a high position without being properly vetted? How did he stay for so long in that position without being caught? Like, guys, when I say South Africa is a mafia state, trust me, South Africa is a mafia state. People use their connect to get jobs while qualified people wobble in the despair of unemployment. If you're not connected in South Africa, if you don't know the higher powers in South Africa, best believe you will be unemployed. So, and, and not a lot of people know connections. That's why the unemployment rate in South Africa is up the roof. So, yes, South Africa is a mafia state. And believe me, when I say this man who was also stealing the state resources and money was sending it back home in Zimbabwe. I mean, you can't be in a higher power in, in South Africa and not help your people back home. So he was stealing resources and money. So I do blame the foreign nationals for our economic woes. I do blame the people who colonized us and stole our land and in, enslaved us in this apartheid um, thing, in this apartheid regime. I do blame them for our financial woes and our economic woes. I do blame the authorities at the borders that let in these foreigners in our country. I do blame them. I blame the, the, the South African citizens that hire these foreigners for their cheap labor. I blame them as well. That's why we are being chased here. Yeah, they welcome with warm, warm, warm hands. And this is what you're paying them back. Guys, I was just looking for followers. Please don't take it deep. I see you are insulting me. You are angry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I was just looking for earning. How do I survive? I'm sorry. I salute you, South Africans, really. I'm really sorry. Thank you for... I appreciate for me to make an end. Please don't beat me if you see me. I was just looking for money. Don't. Anyway, but for now, I'm not around. I'm in America. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Thank you so much. So we are all to blame in this pandemic that we're facing with our foreigners. So what are your thoughts? Um, do you think that I'm being harsh? Comment to us your thoughts. Share and like the broadcast. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much.